A pitch black gale blew across the mat trail from west to east, and the branches and leaves of the wing tree were blown by the wind and danced in a big way, but there was no sound. A silhouette of a black wolf head monkey silently crouched on the branches blown by the wind, lowered its head and stared coldly at a bush not far away with those faint green eyes, and then disappeared silently. In the black wind. In the direction it was looking at, the creaking sound of the wagon wheel gradually came. Before the carriage appeared in sight, a middle-aged man patrolled around and took the lead in leading a brown sturdy horse out of it. At this moment, the dark wind just blew on his face. His face changed, and he immediately turned around and stopped his companions, wait a minute, the wind is blowing. With his eyes, he motioned to a young man behind him to take over the horse he was leading, and then took off the scabbard from his waist. The strong wind blew through the corners of his clothes, and he could vaguely see a layer of hard leather under the chainmail he was wearing. A young man with monocle frowned and took a step forward, lowered his voice and asked the middle-aged man, didn't the wind just blow last night? Why did the wind blow twice in three days? In his right hand, he was leaning on a crystal wooden cane whose front section was somewhat dirty, but not much scratched. Low-level wizards like this material because of its high quality and low price of course, the main reason is the latter. From the almost shiny head of the staff, it can be seen that he often uses this staff and is not good at maintaining the staff. Standing beside the young man was a slightly bloated shield warrior with a full beard. Unlike the middle-aged man with a resolute expression that could not tell his nationality, this shield warrior with brown curly hair could easily see his Ferrera blood. Out of proportion to the large shield behind him, he was wearing a greasy chef's suit that was too large to fit. After all, it's almost the month of shadows, 13, and the monster didn't sleep so well. But don't worry, Del Ramos has never woken up before the snow, the expression on the middle-aged man's face was not so nervous, he handed the slashing sword and the scabbard in his right hand to his left, and turned his head slightly to explain to the wizard, before I decided to take this mission, I asked old John specifically, and he said that before number three there will be no snow. It's the 29th now. The wizard frowned, paused his cane forcefully, and emphasized. The middle-aged man coughed twice in dissatisfaction, and raised his voice a notch, I know. You don't need to worry about this, and Ruosi. You just need to do what you need to do, such as giving me those monkeys. Run away. I told you when you first arrived that the eldest lady in the carriage is in a hurry. She is going to Coral to redeem her troublesome brother. So if you still want me to sign your internship report just give me focus on what's useful, don't worry about what's there. I just wanted to say. All right, all right, little Nruosi, Mackin has no malice. He is such a person, and I understand him. More like a cook than a shield warrior, the Ferrero patted the young wizard on the shoulder with his fat, greasy fingers. Speaking of which, what happened to the druid I rescued before? I heard that the eldest lady gave him treatment. Yet. Yeah. It's just the kidney rupture caused by the backstab. A stable injury and encouragement immediately calmed down the breath. But. The young wizard's brows furrowed deeper, and he muttered with some dissatisfaction. He's a black robe. What happened to the black robe? The cook raised his eyebrows, and a sarcastic smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. I tell you, Mackin was still a salaried man before doing this work, and before that, he was doing work with blood on his fingers. Clovine. The middle aged man scolded in dissatisfaction. Ferraro's chef raised his eyebrows and shrugged, Okay, okay, I won't say I won't say it. I just want to prove that a career doesn't tell the whole story of a person. For example, you, I always feel that you are now it's a good job. You're not a bad guy from your bones. Yes, I'm not, but you did a good job, the middle-aged man turned back, with a slight smile on his stern mouth, also, don't fool the children. What black robes are not black robes, you I'm afraid it's just a professional habit to bring him back. I bet you subconsciously took him back as a girl when you saw the face of the black robe. If you don't wash your hands, 
you can only do it as soon as possible. L.U. ran back and sold him to Nightingale on the corner of the street, I'm afraid he's already counting the money at this point. He he he. Clovine smiled shyly, after all, he's a druid, a patron of nature, one looks better than the other. I've had an elf before, purebred, but not as good looking as the black robe. Too bad it's a man. As far as you know. Sometimes it's men who pay more. The middle-aged man scoffed at his old friend. But soon, the faces of the three people gradually changed. The wind has been blowing for three minutes. Markin's face sank and he sighed. Anruosi, go and inform the priests of the two goddesses of war behind you. Tell them we are in trouble. Looking at the pair of dark green pupils that gradually lit up in the pitch black storm, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com Markin's face became serious, and a large black tadpole's rune gradually appeared in the brown pupil of his right eye. From the eyes spread over half of the face. But, Captain, are you all right here? And Ruosi swallowed, timidly and a little excitedly watching the large silhouette surrounding him. Markin laughed angrily, Fuck you, there are less than 100 monkeys, I'm not at ease. What's really threatening is something that will come out in a while. By the way, stop by and see if that druid is awake. If you can go down to the ground, bring him here too. Whether they can live or not depends on the three of them. The young wizard quickly recognized the situation, nodded earnestly, supported his monocle, and immediately turned back and ran to the carriage not far behind. Hearing the sound of footsteps receding behind him, Markin stared at the green eyes that were still increasing in number, and pulled out the sword in his hand with a low smile. Old man. Let's kill these monkeys first. After all, these jumping monkeys are too much of a threat to low-level professionals. Clovine scratched his scalp with his greasy hands, and didn't say a word, he just took down the big shield behind him with a grin, and with a slight twist, the edge of the half a man high shield pierced out. A razor sharp blade. The black wind gradually grew stronger. The new book is uploaded, please collect it, please recommend it, please, positive color. Roland was awakened by pain. There was a constant tearing pain in the left abdomen. His face turned pale as he felt the tumbling of his internal organs. What happened? He opened his eyes blankly and the smell of incense around him made his drowsy brain a little awake. By the way, he should be leading the comrades of the Crystal Fire Guild to fight against a wave of players infected by the dusk on the Dalansfer. This group of players are members of the Peace Council. They have been fighting on the front line of the Twilight Species and the Demon Invasion, so the chance of being infected after the death of the character is much greater than that of the players who came to the rescue. Although Roland's profession is not something upright, he also has to admit that those people are undoubtedly worthy of respect, and if they don't incinerate their bodies infected by dusk, those players' characters will not be able to play in the game. The Well of Order is resurrected. Even if it is from the overall situation, even if the entire guild died three or four times, their bodies must be burned. It turns out that they really underestimated the high-evil players of the Peace Council. Even if the system AI imitates their fighting style, it is not something that second-tier guilds like Crystal Fire can resist. There were a total of seven infected people, one of them was held by the chief wizard of the guild, and the remaining five directly penetrated the Crystal Fire's elite group of nearly 100 people in just 30 seconds. Roland was also distracted by the radiant hand on the opposite side and somehow went around in front of him and then directly knocked his plate armor profession to the ground with an upright frontal kidney attack in front of his face. At the moment when he was hit by the kidney shot consecrated by the Hand of Radiance, the screen became pitch black, as if he was knocked unconscious by a sap, and Roland himself lost consciousness. What happened? Has a burglar entered the house? This was Roland's first reaction. Reluctantly opening his eyes, he felt that he was lying somewhere dirty and hard. It feels a bit like a carriage carriage, very cramped. Looking out the window, it was pitch black outside. His own face was dimly reflected in the reflective surface of the glass, 
pale and weak from the loss of blood and painful stools for unknown reasons. However, even if he was knocked out by someone with a sap and brought here, why is his head not hurting at all, and the severe pain like being stabbed is constantly coming from his stomach? Just when Roland was barely supporting his body, a surprised and clear cry came from across the dark carriage. Wait, are you awake? When Roland realized that the voice was neither English nor Chinese, or even any commonly used language on earth, but he could understand it without hindrance, he was immediately taken aback. That is the common language of the surface races in the land of the gods. As a completely original language, players can only use the subtitles brought by the common language skill to understand the meaning of the aborigines. But when the game was released three years later, players could basically understand and speak fluent common language without subtitles. After version 3.3.0 and seven full years of game time, even most players can word art is written in common language. But no matter how familiar you are with this language, unless you are a patient with severe secondary illness, you will definitely not choose this language as a way of talking in daily communication. May the Lord give me light. A low prayer made Roland's eyebrows twitch. This is the astral language, or the divine language. Before 2.2.3, it existed as a language passed between priests. But the next scene made Roland widen his eyes in surprise. The golden light was condensed and turned into an illusory rune like Ellie, suspended on a pair of white and slender hands, constantly spinning and blooming with a clear light. It reflected the white-robed girl with beautiful long platinum blonde hair and eyes as blue and pure as a lake on the opposite side. Illumination? I didn't dream, did I? How's it going? Are you feeling okay? The girl didn't pay attention to Roland's expression, but walked over from the opposite side and bent down to carefully examine the wound on his left abdomen. At this time, Roland noticed that he was still wearing the special peripheral pajamas sent by the official. This pajama is Roland's first inaugural coffin bearer player, and fortunately participated in the main quest of Chapter 3 with some real high-evil players such as those players in the Peace Council, and got a high evaluation from the system. After the official out-of-print souvenirs presented. In the selection of more than 20 souvenirs, Roland, as a pragmatist, chose this comfortable and breathable pajamas made of high-grade materials without hesitation. It's not just because he basically doesn't go out unless necessary, and stays in the office playing games all the time. And he valued the style of this pajamas more in a sense. Under the premise of ensuring lightness and fit, this set of pajamas imitates the style of the T1 Druid suit Black Vine Resentment in the Land of the Gods. In the beginning, the reason why Roland didn't play the Druid's tuba and switched to the trumpet, apart from business reasons, was because he couldn't play the T1 suit even if he reached full level, so he thought he was a virtuous man. Ruyi is unlucky. The Black Vine resentment can be said to be one of Roland's biggest resentments, so after seeing the introduction of this pajamas, he chose it directly, and he didn't even look at the souvenirs at the back. However, at the lower abdomen of this set of his incomparably beloved pajamas, there was a two-finger long knife that completely cut off one of the lines. And unlike usual, the whole set of pajamas exudes a quiet fragrance, and the lines that have not been cut are still faintly emitting a dull light. Wait, belly? Thinking of the battle before the coma, Roland vaguely had an idea that surprised him. But he wasn't quite sure. So Roland just looked calmly at the priest who didn't know which it was, bowed his head and leaned in front of him, and his right hand, which was close to his abdomen, faintly glowed with golden light. Can I ask, how is my wound? Roland thought for a while and asked. It's much better now. In fact, the punctured kidney is not a serious injury. It's just that there is a very violent positive energy vibrating around your wound, which hinders the performance of the treatment. The blonde girl tilted her head in distress. To be honest, this is the first time I have seen such pure and violent positive energy. It's just. Speaking of which. She suddenly stopped and stopped talking. Although she didn't say it, Roland knew what she wanted to say. If this world is indeed the world of Fa'anes, the land of the gods, 
then Roland probably understands the current situation better than her gods. It is only natural that I have never seen such pure positive energy. Rather, it is normal. Since the priest's magic has not been deprived, it means that it is still the year of the gods. The three saints have not returned from the sea of chaos. The gods who hold supreme authority do not have such pure power themselves, let alone give it to them. For believers. If nothing else, the wound on the abdomen was caused by a dagger from the radiant hand. As compensation for the loss of stealth and sneak attacks, each attack of the radiant hand counts as a weakness attack, even if their foe does not have a weakness of their own. At the same time, the Radiant Hand's attack can ignore all defenses when facing enemies without legendary armor, and each hit has a stackable continuous flare damage. This kind of damage itself is a dot, but it is neither poison nor curse, so it cannot be dispelled by conventional means. But, then again, should it be his character, not himself, who was injured by that Radiant Hand? He is playing the female account, even if it is time travel, Either he will come over by himself, or he will come over as a character. What is it that he crosses over with the damage his character suffers? His pajamas or robes now did not have deep pockets. Roland took a cursory look and found that the only things he was carrying were a thin notebook and a ballpoint pen, in order to keep track of important new events on the forum and some information related to the triggering of special tasks. After many years of accumulation, this is already his fourteenth notepad. Without leaving any traces, Roland pretended to tidy up his collar and carefully looked at the notepad in his inner pocket as he sat up slowly. To his surprise, the first few pages of the book had become blank, but Roland pinched it, and the book was basically the same thickness as it was full of pages, indicating that the content on it was not torn off by anyone. Even some traces of Roland's use are still preserved. For example, Roland likes to slowly rub the corners of the notebook while writing. At this moment, the corners of the pages of the notebook in Roland's arms are still rolled up, but the inside the content is blank. What a pity! Roland sighed. It would be great if the things recorded in it were still preserved. It would not be an exaggeration to say that the things recorded here are priceless. That's a record from the future. By the way, where are we now? This. Pretending to be casual, Roland suddenly turned around and asked the priest girl with a smile. My name is Claudia, Claudia Crowley. You can just call me Claudia. The blonde girl exhaled, stood up and said to Roland with a smile. It was Uncle Clovine who found you in the dark forest, and now we are about to reach the mat trail. She gestured out the window by the light of her fingertips. Look. That's Del Ramo's breath. Matt trails? Roland frowned slightly. He has an impression of this. It was an old version of the 20th level map of the Banza Kingdom. It was once noticed by many smugglers and smugglers because it was on the border between Banza and Kaler. But the reason why it is famous among players is because in the center of the map, the ancient monster Del Ramos, who has been sleeping for thousands of years. Del Ramos is an epic field leader with a challenge level of 80. That is to say, to defeat Del Ramos, you need a team of at least 40 people, and the average level of the team members is above 80. It is basically possible. Roland remembered that Del Ramos' first kill was done by the Peace Council last month. At that time, there was a lot of noise on the forum. Some people blamed them for not fighting the Twilight Seeds and the Demons and went out for a walk. They also strongly supported the Peace Council, saying that they couldn't leave all the difficult tasks to others. So it's rare that Roland still has an impression of this. Of course, Del Ramos didn't wake up until the Lost Christmas version. Until then it had lain dormant in the seal set by the ancient druid master Hard Oak. That is to say, the four maps including the Sunset Plain, the Dark Forest, the Mat Trail and the Trace of No Light. UU reading www.uugonshu.com challenges dangerous areas ranging from 25 to 40. Here, the magic contained in Del Ramo's breath enchanted all creatures here. The rare wing tree in the outside world is everywhere because of the nourishment of magic, 
but the color of the wing branches and leaves has changed from pure white to black, so it has completely lost its value. In addition, there are many strange shaped creatures here, like stitched monsters or synthetic beasts. Glimpse is assembled from the shape of animals, and it is not surprising that it is composed of anything. The only thing these glimpses have in common is that all of them are pitch black and have wolf-like green eyes. Most of the silhouettes that appeared in the mat trail were the silhouettes of erect species with ape bodies. The jumping ability is excellent, and it is easy to cause huge damage to the cloth armor profession. This thing can be regarded as a new generation of killers in Banza. Although it is not as famous as the corpse of the Principality of Kuril, it is also a dangerous species that kills countless people. The most important thing is that if you have already advanced to the mat trail, there will be a glimpse of the elite from the dull trail. These shadows have plundered enough shadows, the whole body has been completely shadowed, the usual detection methods are all invalid, and physical attacks are mostly immune and at this level, sorcery and divine magic do not have enough damage. It can be said that once encountered is the crisis of destroying the group. Roland sighed in his heart, and decided to remind this team that he didn't know whether it was a caravan or a mercenary group. It is really impossible to continue to move forward. But before that, he wanted to see what he could do. Roland just thought about it, and the familiar dark green light curtain slowly emerged. What is shown above is exactly his current state and attributes. Roland. White oak slash golden oak slash deadwood, half goblin, balanced blood, male health, two twenty firsts, moderate damage, stop deterioration, level, one, apprentice level, remaining experience, zero occupation, apprentice druid first level, zero slash three, origin, unawakened attributes. Strength 2.0, 1.4, Agility 2.0, 1.0, Constitution 2.0, 0.7, Wisdom 2.0, Will 2.0, Bloodline 2.0 Traits, Nature's Heart, Occupational Trait, Natural Charm, Racial Trait, Versatile, Racial Trait, Mastery of Magic, None Status, Moderate, Anemia, Visceral Damage, Glare except for the physical attribute penalty due to moderate anemia and visceral damage, this is a very normal player's standard attribute table, which is exactly the same as the character's starting attributes in Roland's game. In the land of the gods, players of all races cannot choose the initial attributes, and can only reveal the difference from other players through the increased attribute points after inauguration. By the way, no attribute points are added when the apprentice level is upgraded. The selection of the initial occupation is to generate three suitable occupations among the 13 apprentice occupations by means of a psychological test, and then players can freely choose one of these three occupations. After the apprenticeship is completed, the player will get a formal occupation, which is also the formal level, level 110. The initial attributes added when all occupations are upgraded are different, and the same occupations will also be different for different races. When the player upgrades, if the conditions are met, he can choose to change his career, or he can choose to continue to upgrade his career. And all the job transfer tasks are automatically generated by the achievements and tasks completed by the player, so that after the player reaches the 31st bronze rank, the attributes and characteristics are diversified, and it is basically impossible for two identical players to appear. And the three options after Roland's name are the changes after selecting the Apprentice Druid as the initial occupation. To enter the Druid sect, you need to give up your surname, which is equivalent to giving up your secular identity, including inheritance rights such as titles, manners, or land. After the Apprentice Druid passes the assessment, the mentor will reveal three blessed surnames for him, and the disciple will choose one of the three. Different surnames will also be used as a reference to determine the player's subsequent career transfer and the awakening of the origin, and will also affect the druid's magical effect. Through these three surnames, Roland can see that his mentor, who may only exist in the background, may be a white-robed guardian specializing in the field of plants. Among these three surnames, white queer tends to control plants and absorb life, golden oak is the most almighty king's surname, 
and deadwood surnames can only turn to withered ones, so it can be said that they are tied to the evil camp. If Roland was asked to choose in the game, he would definitely choose Golden Oak. But in reality he had no choice. Because Roland is now wearing a black robe, representing him volunteering to join the Blighter, the disciplinary institution of the Druid sect. As a noble surname, it is impossible for Golden Oak to join the Blighter. Anyone with a slightly higher level of religious knowledge will be suspicious of him, which is tantamount to seeking death, and the surname in the sewer such as Deadwood can be said to have this body in the past. Clothes, but once this surname is used, it is equivalent to telling others that my ingredients are not good. Come and kill me, and no one will take revenge on you. Considering that he may have come to the world of Fa'anes, and before the White Tower collapsed, the evil camp was not as good as the good camp. If Deadwood is chosen directly, it is very likely that Roland will not live in the era of plague revival at all. Therefore, Roland could only choose Bai K as his surname. Um. When he stretched out his hand to prepare to click, he suddenly found something wrong. Half Goblin? Why Half Goblin? Roland almost called out. That's the race of his characters in the game. In order to obtain the two racial characteristics of natural charm and versatility at the same time, he specially chose a balanced bloodline, that is, each with a concentration of 50%. In this way, out of the four talents of accelerated learning, versatile, natural charm and shocking gaze, he can inherit one from each of his parents. At the same time, his attributes are twice as high as the starting attributes of purebred human players, which is equivalent to twice the attributes of a normal person, but the difficulty of leveling up the first 50 levels is only 1.5 times the penalty if it is a purebred goblin, while starting with quadrupled attributes, the level up experience of all occupations is doubled. Such a choice was a relatively cost-effective opening allocation that Roland obtained after a long time of calculation. Fairies are different from elves. The pure-blooded fairies were born from the Lake of Fairies. From the beginning of their birth, they looked like 17 or 18-year-old girls, but they were only a few inches long when they were born. As the age increases, the body length of the goblin will gradually grow, and eventually it will be the same as the human. This beautiful and pure creature is beloved by any life, and has a reputation for being friendly and above in all alignments. At the same time, fairies and high elves belong to the same level as the people of silver, two levels higher than humans. Their mixed-blooded children have impure silver blood, which is equivalent to the people of bronze. But the lifespan of fairies is the shortest among the silver species, even shorter than that of humans. But. The bloodline of the half-goblin is his character's bloodline, and Roland's own bloodline, who has passed through the body, should be a pure human being. Thinking of his previous abdominal injury, Roland frowned, feeling that things were not simple. In a tentative manner, Roland reached out and selected Bai K as his surname, and then expanded the characteristics column. Be prepared to check it out and it's no different in-game. Features Heart of Nature Class feature, effect, make natural wild animals friendly to you initially, you will not be actively attacked by enchanted animals and plants, you get plus one judgment on all checks related to nature listening to the voice of nature has become an instinct for you. Natural charm, racial trait, effect, your persuasion, encouragement, deception, etc. that may affect the decision of others are automatically regarded as a charm spell for neutral or friendly units and will not be hindered by any factors other than the will attribute, get plus three judgment on the charisma of this creature is itself an incomparably sharp weapon. Versatile, racial trait, effect, you can get a free job position, and the experience penalty of all jobs after that is reduced by 50% being able to adapt to a variety of lifestyles is one of the advantages of human beings. Sure enough. Roland's brows loosened slightly. The entire system page is exactly the same as in the game, except that there is no option to disconnect. Roland really has no real sense of his situation. Did you come to the world of the game, or did you enter a brand new game? If it is in the world of the game, will there be such a thing as a player? 
if there is no player, how can the world survive the invasion of the twilight species? Sir? Are you all right? Just as Roland lowered his head to think, the girl opposite could not wait for an answer for a long time, and asked worriedly. He was slightly startled, and slowly raised his head. When his face came into Claudia's sight, a warm and peaceful smile appeared on his face. I'm so sorry, Miss Claudia. I'm thinking about where we're going next, and I'm a little lost. Roland's expression became humble and gentle. It suddenly occurred to me that I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Roland, Roland White Mistletoe, girl's apprentice druid. By the way, don't look at me wearing a black robe, I'm actually not a blighter, I'm a druid Germany. Dude. Claudia's attention was easily diverted by Roland. There was some doubt on her face. Yes. You must be the eldest lady from Banza. Roland covered the wound on his abdomen and smiled gently with a pale face. Eh? How did you know? As you said, it's now the Matt Trail, and across here is Carol. So I guess you are either the priest of Banza or the priest of Carol. And the Duet is the exclusive occupation of Carol, Druid apprentices who are determined to maintain traditions and protect ancient knowledge will choose this path. Although it is not known to everyone in the Principality of Carol, the clergy must know it, Roland said here, with a hint of just right in his eyes. Doubt, speaking of which, why did you take this path? You know it's not easy to walk here. I'm not afraid to tell you, Claudia said with a little shyness on her face, my brother just came back from the White Watch Tower vacation, and was arrested in Carol for causing trouble. You know, Carol's bumpkin wizards, not so friendly. Her inadvertent words were like a thunderbolt that instantly struck Roland on the head. In an instant, he immediately realized his situation. Edward Crowley, the THRE airing battle wizard, the transfer mentor of the Carol battle wizard. He first appeared in a prison in a small town. The townspeople of that town, like most ordinary people in the Principality of Carol, have an ignorant and fearful attitude towards wizards. When it comes to wizards or witches, they subconsciously think of them as spy, liar, people who deal with the devil. After confirming that Edward who was staying there was a wizard, they immediately contacted the priest in the town and put Edward under house arrest. As an orthodox wizard from the White Tower, Edward respected the order very much. Although he was extremely helpless in this situation, he had to inform his family to come to redeem the people. The younger sister, who got a word from her parents, mistakenly thought the situation was very serious, and had a big fight with her family. Then she hired a group of mercenaries with a mentor who was worried about her safety, and ran around the border trail day and night to prepare to go. Carol goes to jail. However, the next development is not so happy. No one would have thought that the cultists in the South Wind Ring were doing human transformation experiments in the Dark Scar at that time. Under the desperate delay of her mentor, Although the little girl was not silenced by the cultists on the spot, she ran into a pterodactyl in a panic and was torn to pieces on the spot. Her mentor didn't end well either. Although he was a strong silver-ranked, 3,140, under the siege of dozens of bronze-ranked ashes and howlers, he had no chance of escaping. Edward, who learned the news from his family a month later, changed his temperament greatly, and his whole person became sluggish. No one can even tell that he's a wizard when a player stumbles across him from a prison cell, filthy all over. And one of the well-known tasks he released is severing the ring clearing the cultists who have no trace of light. It is this mission that involved the expansion of 1.2.0, and it is not surprising to say that it is the main mission. In other words, now is the year 916 of the God's Calendar, the age when the internal test has just started. In another six months, the White Tower collapsed, and all the wizards were hunted down by the clergy. In another three years, the revival of the plague will end, the Feng Shui will take turns, almost all the gods will fall, and the old magic profession will be completely abolished. Then came the Reformation, the Declaration of Human Rights, the Lost Christmas, the Twilight Invasion. A lot can be changed Roland moved slightly in his heart 
and was about to ask Claudia something. But at this moment, the door of the carriage was rashly opened from the outside. The cold and sticky black wind rushed into the compartment at once, making Roland feel a little breathless for a while. Miss Crowley a young wizard with a monocle shouted breathlessly outside. The Bayant young man leaned on the door with one hand and his knee with the other, gasping for breath. Then he suddenly turned his eyes to Roland, the hope overflowing in his eyes made Roland feel the burn. Also, Mr. Druid. Roland. White Oak. Roland said immediately. Okay, Mr. Roland. The wizard finally caught his breath. He said in a low voice. I'm afraid something big has happened, you too. It's not the black wind this time, it's the breath of the real Del Ramos. The monsters have surrounded us. You two better go to the front right now. I'll go right now. My name is Father Claude. Just walk straight ahead when you get out of the carriage, and follow the direction of the sound. Mackin silently raised the bloodstained sword and took a half step back. The few shadows around him seemed to have sensed his flaws, and they slowly approached him on all fours, ignoring the companion who had just been beheaded. But before these few shadows could jump up with strength, Markin immediately took a step forward and vigorously swung the slightly tucked sword. The blood-stained curls slashing sword exuded a faint light, dancing a bright red arc in the air, instantly severing the few just jumping shadows surrounding Markin in two. Arc slash. This is Curl's military swordsmanship. It can get a level of strength bonus at the moment when the attack is judged successfully, and it can also achieve the terrifying effect of slashing the enemy in the early stage. Unfortunately, unless you are a weapon master, you can only use the single-edged sword unique to Curl in your right hand to exert its full effect. But at the moment when the sword arc flashed, a slightly stronger wolf head glancing shadow slyly leaned down, avoiding Macon's attack. Afterwards, his front paws exerted force, tumbling and jumping from the ground in a strange motion, and his barbed hind feet slashed towards the head of the stiffened Macon in the air but at this moment, a round shield full of sharp blades made a terrible humming sound, spinning at high speed to split the silhouette of the wolf's head into two, and under the high-speed rotation of the blade shield, it glimpsed the black internal organs contaminated by magic power. Squeeze out from the incision, and lose his life if he can't even do it. Then, the slender iron chain connected in the center of the shield was suddenly straightened, and the shield, which was still rotating at a high speed, was pulled and drawn into a large arc, slashing or forcing the shadows beside Markin and Clovine. Retreat. Finally, Macon, who was able to make some room, exhaled, and the black rune on his face retreated to his right eye. While Vigilantly and Clovine covered each other and stepped back, he whispered, Thanks. It's okay, I'm used to it. There was an almost mocking smile on Clovine's fat face, and he used the chain to lead the shield to spin and fly back. The shield that stopped spinning was full of shallow scratches, and the blade with some internal organs overheated due to the high-speed movement, making a sizzling sound as the meat rolled around the blade. When you fight, it's on the top. You can't change this problem until you die. Clovine looked at the glimpses that were still increasing in number, and rubbed his fat, blood-stained fingers on Markin's body. However, pay a little attention to Lao Tzu. It's not in the Hyena Legion anymore, but there aren't that many shield dancers to protect you from going mad. Just as the two were talking, a new glimpse appeared from the shadows. More than twenty pairs of green eyes stared coldly from a distance looking like a large firefly from a distance. The number is three digits. The ever-increasing number of glimpses gave Markin the feeling of encountering a pack of wolves in the Deadwood Wilds as a child. The frightening feeling made him startled, and even the sword in his hand seemed to be a little unstable. Shaking his head slightly, he abandoned the ominous feeling in his heart. Suddenly Mackin heard hurried footsteps behind him. Glancing shadow, who was also attracted by the new prey, also turned his head. Almost instantly, Mackin heard the sound of teeth fighting from behind. Probably in Ruosi. He couldn't help but sigh. After all, he is an academic wizard. 
The holiday practice is to increase the actual combat experience, and it is not strange to be afraid of this when encountering a glimpse. After all, it was a glimpse. If he hadn't been a killer in the White Tower before and joined the army, I'm afraid he would be like this now. Miss Claudia, please give this gentleman a boost. A soft, hoarse voice came from behind him. The neutral voice made it difficult for Markin to distinguish between men and women for a while. But when he realized that this voice had never been heard before, he immediately realized that it was probably the voice of the black robe that Cluvian rescued. But, encouragement is used to shield pain, and in Ruosi, came the voice of a certain eldest priest. Putting it together with that neutral voice, you can immediately hear the lack of confidence and hesitation in it, I used two wondering magics on you just now, and now the magic power is not enough. Trust me, Miss Claudia. The neutral voice came leisurely. Inspiration is a pain-relieving effect that was developed in 891 of the God's Calendar. Before the end of the War of the Undead, it was mainly used for the low-level warriors of the friendly army to resist the opposing aura of fear. It was used to resist the plundering of shadow creatures. Courage works just as well. Didn't you learn it in the temple? Is. Is that so? Well, I believe you. Miss Pastor sounds like she has never heard anything like that. But she hesitated for a moment, and then decided to do as Hippeo said. Then, a golden brilliance flashed past behind him, and the sound of fighting that made one's teeth sore stopped immediately. Not only that, but even Markin felt a lot calmer in his cringe when he was slightly illuminated by the light. What is the origin of that black robe? If you understand the magic of the realm of war in this way, it won't be the madman of the Deadwood family or the Deadwood family. Markin, who was also born in Carol, couldn't help but become curious about the black robe behind him. If it weren't for the aggressive glances in front of him, he really wanted to turn back immediately to see what the black robe looked like before he was busy judging the direction of progress, and he didn't have a chance to see the flower that was exaggerated by Clovine. What kind of good-looking boy can come? But at this moment, the nice hoarse voice came again, the gentleman with the sword in front. Look at the curse mark on your face, you are a silent swordsman, right? Hearing his words, Mackin's heart was shocked and he could barely grasp the sword for a moment. Silent Swordsman is a profession that was developed by Bita's R&D department the year before. Currently, only Kaler military assassins who have official cooperation with the White Tower can change jobs. This particular class may not be as dangerous as Shadow Warrior or Venom Claw, but for Macon, who often has to complete assassination or scout missions, Becoming a silent swordsman is far more useful than studying the shadow power of the assassin class. The characteristic of silent swordsmen is that their attacks and actions are completely silent. The black spell mark on the face of the silent swordsman is the source of the power of the enchantment. The silent spell will gradually fade away and disappear with the opening time. Before it disappears completely, the weapon and body of the silent swordsman will be covered with a very thin layer of silent enchantment. Both actions and attacks will become silent. Although it's not as easy to use as humans, it can be used with a slightly delayed stealth, and it's also a good tool for a glimpse of the target that only uses ears and eyes to lock on. But the key point is that the information about this profession should still be at the top secret level. Markin was startled, and the killing intent suddenly appeared in his heart. But just as he was about to turn around and shut his mouth, he immediately recalled the taste. Thinking about the influence of the Druid sect in the Principality of Karol, it seems that it is not surprising that a black robe knows about it. As the only professional killing organization of a scholar organization like the Druids, it is impossible for the black robes to not have their own information channels. From this point of view, it doesn't seem so strange to know the information about the silent swordsman. Yu reading www.yuyugonshu.com The moment he heard the druid in the black robe speak, Markin's thoughts went back and forth in his mind. He thought it would be best for him not to say anything at this time. It seemed that there was no response, and the hoarse and soft voice sounded again behind him, then, please close the curse seal first to save energy. 
Listen to me, I have a plan to annihilate all the shadows the voice behind him said so, and took a step forward slowly. The next moment, an emerald green halo shone out from behind Markin and quickly swept along the ground. All of a sudden, all the swipes seemed to be fixed, froze in place and motionless. It is a group monster immobilization technique. Markin was overjoyed, relaxed and turned around. But just happened to see the black robe pull down the hood. There is a hint of weakness in the delicate face, which is lovable and lovable, the fat-like skin is almost transparent due to ischemia, and the pair of smart black eyes are full of confidence. This beautiful creature like a puppet of the Suzee Empire was wrapped in a black robe of a larger size, exuding an almost magical charm, which made people unconsciously feel good about him. Don't blame Clovine for thinking of him as a girl contrary to Markin's own expectations, when he saw the black robe, he didn't realize the slightest fear and awe, but such an almost disrespectful thought popped up in his mind. Seriously, it's really pretty. New book for collection and recommendation. After leaving the carriage, he felt the cold and sticky black wind, and Roland immediately realized that it was indeed Del Ramo's breath. Del Ramos wakes up for 47 hours on the first snow of the year. A field leader with a challenge level of 80 can be said to be a natural disaster in the current era, if it hadn't been for him to leave the lightless Scar, Kalil, and Banza will all be raised to the ground by it. Only when Del Ramos wakes up a week or so before, its breath is full of chaotic magic. The ordinary black wind that blocks the line of sight is transformed into the breath of Del Ramos, which contains magic power turning all creatures that are less than three years old including dragons and demons into scheming creatures, and let their breath be magical. The glimpse creatures are full of aggression. In the past two months, no caravans and patrolling troops will pass by here. It is precisely for this reason that the cultists of the South Wind Ring will gather at this time to conduct experiments. Miss Claudia, ghost creatures like to attack lone enemies. Let's not act alone. Let's wait for the wizard and Father Claude to come back and go to the front. Roland looked around, and then said to Claudia, who showed a hint of fear behind him. He also needed time to sort out his thoughts. And indeed, as he said, Glimpse likes to attack weak enemies. At this moment, he only has two points of life left, even if he is touched by a glimpse, his life is in danger. Well. Okay, Mr. Roland. I will listen to you. Growing up in a greenhouse, Claudia, who had never seen such a terrifying black wind, couldn't help but feel a little scared. She was fine in the carriage before, but once she was blown by these black winds, she even felt like she was being swallowed by a giant beast in the deep sea. So when she heard Roland's suggestion, she naturally agreed and stood here waiting for the wizard and teacher to come. If Roland remembers correctly, these cultists are conducting experiments on demon transformation. Beginning with severing the ring, this case T-line continues for three versions, culminating in the Lost Christmas. In the notes of the leader of the South Wind Ring, Higgler, the first demon transformation experiment was carried out in the Dark Scar. Those who have mastered the knowledge of ancient Druid will not be attacked by the shadow creatures here and it is not until six months after the end of the experiment that the player realizes that these shadow creatures, which should be considered twisted creatures, still enjoy the influence of the druid heart of nature. Effect By the way, during that time, there were countless druids who went to Wugwong Trail to pick up corpses every day, and there were indeed such a group of people who made their fortunes from here. Back to the topic the first demon transformation experiment of the Ring of the South Wind rightfully failed. They threw the failed experiment in the Dark Scar and threw the cauldron to Del Ramos, and then moved south to the Kingdom of Susie. After that, the Ring of the South Wind underwent a great change, and a group of cultists broke away from it and established the radical organization of the Ring of Ashes, but they no longer believed in chaos. After realizing that he had come to this world, this era, this place, and that he had the status of a druid apprentice, Roland had a bold idea. That is to find a way to enter the trace of no light, and use the information advantage to enter the ring of the south wind, and obtain the most orthodox inheritance of Duyide. In fact, 
the druid profession itself should be read as duid. It's just because in the era of the War of the Undead, a part of Duid stood under the banner of the King of Quicksilver, which caused a batch of inheritances to be erased when the undead were defeated and liquidated. After more than fifty years, the Druid scholars of that year re-established the flag of the Druid sect in the name of Druid in Karol, which is far away from their hometown of Elkat, and now the Dru is born. Ye. The word Druid is derived from the transliteration of the word Druid in the Elkatel dialect with a Karol dialect. And if Roland remembers correctly, this talk should refer to the process of the birth of the word Druid in the earth the same Druid has been translated many times into a completely different Druid from the original word. Ye word. Don't look at the Southwind Ring's belief in chaos, but they do have the oldest Druid heritage. In other words, if their Druid level is not high enough and their perception attributes are not strong enough, they will not be able to detect the existence of the Dusk Seeds isolated by Aum's Law and the Wall of Gaia. Although Druid is a profession that increases perception like priests and Druids, Druid has a fatal flaw, that is, they do not increase the will attribute even a little due to upgrading, so they are particularly vulnerable to various the evil spirit is confused. But again, their increased perception attribute is higher than the cleric and druid combined. Not to mention. Roland showed a thoughtful expression. If the history of the world is indeed moving in the direction in his memory, then I am afraid that there will be various irresistible disasters coming soon. You know, NPCs cannot be upgraded through experience. Without the fast-growing and extremely large number of players to fill their lives, there is almost no way to resist the attack of the demon army in the era of the Lost Christmas, let alone the invasion of the Dusk species. If you are the only player, then you must become strong enough. Stronger than anyone. At least in the 1940s to reach the 50th grade, and in the 1960s to reach the 75th grade. At the same time, Roland has to cut off all events that may weaken the power of the entire world from the beginning and strengthen the power of the entire world, so that it is possible to survive the continuous disasters and catastrophe in the future. Roland didn't want to die. I don't want to die anyway. At least, he didn't want to go back to the past and still couldn't control his own destiny. He was turned back by the wheel of fate and ran over again such a way of death, he absolutely couldn't accept it. Going back to the closed beta version, an era that Roland was extremely familiar with. If he can't turn around the sad future in this era, he can't do better even if he is given a hundred chances. This is Roland's responsibility. Although he thinks that he is simply afraid of death, there is still an egg under the nest in the face of that level of crisis, if the world cannot be saved, there is no doubt that he will die worthless. Absolutely unacceptable. Although Roland never thought he was a good person, he didn't mind saving the world by the way. In the same way, Roland, who had smashed countless guilds into pieces in the game, wouldn't mind what kind of methods he would use in the process and how many innocent people he would hurt. First of all, let's raise the level first. Then convert from druid to priest of the trinity after the plague revival begins. That's right, Roland is going to become a priest because there is no such thing as a master in the game land of the gods. Although the wizard is also very strong, the strongest profession in the land of the gods is undoubtedly the magic profession. However, there is only one in this world, Aum. Now the gods in the sky are actually divine envoys who have stolen the authority of the saints. They are essentially false gods and can only bestow very limited magical techniques on priests. Not to mention the resurrection technique and the truth backtracking there is not even a magical technique such as curing disease. After the revival of the plague ended, the three saints returned to regain their authority, the false gods fell one after another, and the authority returned to the saints. Only priests from then on can be called priest fathers. Even Roland, the chief tank of the guild, only rose up after he transferred to the Templar profession of the coffin bearer, the dormant mentor. Knowing that in the past ten years, Roland in the future has a profound understanding of which will fall first, which saint will return first, and which saint's priest will have the strongest fighting power. Going back to the past, you must hold on to the thickest thigh from the very beginning, 
and if you can't become the Pope, you must at least become the strongest priest in history. Only in this way can Roland have enough confidence to solve the disaster after the lost Christmas. Now what Roland needs most is grades. Although Duet is also a rare profession, its promotion speed is too slow. To level up quickly, Roland must get an uncommon evil side job. Because only the evil side occupation can allow Roland to gain experience on humanoids, and only an uncommon occupation can make him avoid being targeted by too many people before the revival of the plague, and grow up safely. Taking it all into consideration, the profession of the ashes from the ring of the south wind is quite good. First of all, as a basic occupation, Roland can quickly advance. Secondly, on the basis of enough upgrades to increase attributes, this occupation can also provide a lot of practical magic, as well as a feature that can hide his evil camp. All things considered, Ashlander can be a pretty useful early class until Plague Resurrection arrives. After the revival of the Plague, Roland had countless ways to wash away his occupation and his own faction without affecting his attributes. First of all, let's get on the line with the cultists of No Light. Roland narrowed his eyes and looked in the direction of the lightless mark. The Ring of the South Wind is not yet famous, and no one but a very few people know what they do. If the people in this team don't know what the South Wind Ring is, that's all. Roland didn't mind changing the established history and saving them from the Shadow Pterodactyl. But if they knew about this group of cultists and could recognize them Roland narrowed his eyes, and a cold arc was drawn at the corner of his mouth. He doesn't mind letting the fate of this group of people return to the right path. After all, although his career on Earth cannot be said to be the kind in the stinky ditch, at least he considers himself not a good person. Moreover, he is too familiar with Wugwong Scar. New book for her support. Ask for recommendations and collections. Roland's career on Earth is not a professional gamer. Even his comrades in Crystal Scar didn't know about it. On the bright side, he is a cybersecurity consultant and an expert in cyber social engineering. But in fact, Roland is an online liar, still quite high end. Of course, everyone has a growing experience. When Roland first started doing this, he even had the experience of using his natural advantages to disguise himself as a girl to cheat, and he even learned pseudo voice and acting for this purpose. But that can only be said to be black history. Even the Oneo Nun long term gameplay Roland stopped playing for a long time. In his day, the legislation in this area had been perfected, and this obvious fraud was very easy to get rid of. Most importantly, returns are not directly proportional to risks. Later, Roland suddenly got enlightened. He began to try to write some detailed and tricky strategies as a high end player, such as using a certain potion to challenge a certain dungeon. After that, the price of that potion rose again and again, and soon Roland made a fortune from it. After that incident, Roland immediately discovered that this piece of legislation was still blank, and the profits were quite high without anyone else intervening. So he decisively gave up all the clients in that game, and made a makeover to develop in the newly launched Land of the Gods. With his talent, Roland quickly became one of the well-known players in the Land of the Gods. Afterwards, he began to write dungeon guides with Roland's characteristics, and before publishing, he recklessly collected some materials and items related to his own dungeon guides, and used various methods to raise prices before selling them. With this, Lola got a considerable amount of principal. But soon, Roland discovered that a group of keen businessmen discovered the abnormal changes in prices. After investigating the root cause, they also began to hire some relatively poor gods to write some inaccurate strategies to drive up prices together with Roland. Roland immediately realized the competition. So he decisively cut off many trumpets of different professions, and hid the tuba for a while. With his previous experience and skills, coupled with Roland's sleepless leveling, these trumpets soon became famous in some circles. After using a certain trumpet to collect a large number of excellent weapons, armors, and props of the profession, Roland began to disseminate a comprehensive guide to the profession in the forum in the name of that trumpet. The guide is so detailed that as long as you follow the guide, 
you can become a professional player with a little hard work. So a group of people with the dream of being a professional gamer think too much, or their family is not short of money, and they want to be happy and foolish, and the number of such professions grows rapidly. Caused the prices of various necessities of the profession all the way up. At this time, Roland took off and threw out all the goods he had received before, and then repeated the process of receiving goods hyping and selling them in another occupation that could effectively restrain the current hottest occupation. At this time, Roland's tuba didn't stop. He disguised himself as a person from different time zones, and let different trumpets enter different large hostile guilds to be active at different time periods, and kept fighting with events such as raids. In the end, after the two guilds went into full-scale war, they sold some war supplies with a large number, then deleted the two trumpets, and reopened two more trumpets. Then there is no then. After Roland's fourth profession had just reached the full level, he was transferred to the Coffin Bearer and joined the second-rate guild called Crystal Scar, and he travelled to this world inexplicably. Fortunately, the experience during that time allowed Roland to understand most of the secrets of this game and the strategy of almost all the dungeons, as well as the coping and restraint methods of various occupations. To put it bluntly, Roland at this moment is equivalent to half a big mobile book. Hall. Oh. This kind of experience made him come here and it was not in vain. However, in order to deal with disasters such as the Twilight Invasion in the future, Roland had to dissolve the wars and fight for peace. The warmongers who provoked war in the past have now become men of lofty ideals who appeal for peace on all sides. This change of identity couldn't help but make him dumbfounded. Would it be up to me to reorganize the Peace Council in the future? Roland was full of ridicule. But then again, eliminating the war is one thing, but giving up the lives of a few NPCs for his own rapid growth is another in Roland's mind. Speaking of which, Roland hasn't adjusted his mentality yet. In his eyes, these living beings are not far from the concept of the word NPC, allowing him to send them to death without any reluctance. In fact, Roland himself thought that even if he adjusted his mentality, he would still be able to make the move. Of course, those words were not mentioned for a while, and after waiting with Claudia for nearly a quarter of an hour, the young wizard with glasses slowly walked over with the help of a trembling old man. The old man had white hair, curled like a judge on the earth. His beard was as long as his hair, and only those eyes that were constantly moving made him look a little younger. He has aged to a limit, and even if the wizard's hand around him is loosened, he instantly collapses into a skeleton. Roland would not be surprised by this. The old man's right hand was holding a slightly old iron wooden walking stick tightly, and the bones and blood vessels stood out in the thin skin without age spots. Seeing that the end of his cane was wrapped with three thin circles of iron, Roland's pupils shrank slightly. When the old pastor saw Roland, he quickly rolled his eyes, then coughed dryly, narrowed his eyes, and hid his childlike eyes behind the wrinkles, and said to Roland, this. Hello, priest of Siver, salute to the chariot. Also, I am not a black robe, but a druid. Roland preemptively said a little rudely, this was to prevent the formation of a dialogue, in case the old priest had the opportunity to ask Roland Duid what it was. After all, if he is old and mature, in case his religious knowledge level is too high, if he realizes that he should not appear in Banza through the description of Duyide's occupation, it will be another trouble that is not easy to solve. My name is Roland, Roland White Oak. You can just call me by my name. Roland spoke in a soft and hoarse voice unhurriedly. Controlled at about five syllables per second, it is the least objectionable dialogue rhythm. This is what he learned when he started cheating online. Well, Mr. Roland. I think we'd better not waste too much time, the old pastor looked at Roland with a smile and said slowly, I think little Mackin must be in a hurry. I can't see where you are in a hurry. Roland's heart was broken, his face was full of confidence, and he put on a perfect smile. Don't worry, Father Claude. I'm still very familiar with this place. After all, this is the road I took when I entered Banza. Oh, that's it. 
Claude also squinted his eyes kindly, retracted his right hand to his chest, and squinted at Roland, leaning on a cane in both hands, young people are really struggling. Think back to that time. You are also growing old now. Roland responded without a trace. With a confident expression on his face, he took the lead and strode in a certain direction. Please come with me, I'm very familiar here. Emphasizing this for the second time made the old pastor nodded thoughtfully, and then followed within Ruosi with narrowed eyes. Wait, wait for me. Seeing that no one cared about her, Claudia stomped her feet angrily and followed in a bit of fear. The position of the carriage was not far from the front of the battle, only about a hundred paces away. But it was pitch black in Del Ramos's breath, and he couldn't see the place more than ten paces away from him. Although the group said they wanted to hurry up, they proceeded unhurriedly for their own reasons. Of course, in Roland's words, in order to take care of Father Claude he doesn't care whether the old man believes it or not, as long as the two young people believe it. It seems that Captain Mackin should have encountered a glimpse on the Matt Trail. It is only a dozen steps away from the boundary line of the nearest Matt Trail, but we'd better go as far as possible. Glimpses are very sensitive to changes in light and shadow, and they can't see anything clearly in unfamiliar brightness. You must know that all the more advanced glimpses appear in the Matt Trails, and they will never step in their entire lives. The Dark Forest. So if you just run away, as long as Captain Mackin and the others are withdrawn, it will be fine. But if you want to pass through the stubborn oak lock and enter the Kaler's territory in the shortest time, even we still to enter the Dark Scar for a short time. It seems that Captain Mackin and the others should have come to the stubborn oak fan lock, but they have never entered the inner circle when Del Ramos was close to waking up. UU reading www.uugonshu.com every year at the end of December, it is here. The shadow will become very violent, and all enemies that are not pure black and white will be attacked strongly by them. The correct way to deal with it should be to walk close to the side of the mat trail, in this case, as long as the shadow of the dark jungle strikes, we only need to entering the mat trail, they will become blind, and if the glimpse of the mat trail is close, we will retreat into the dark jungle. This is the correct way to go on the mat trail and it is called the trail because the right road is narrow and narrow. On this short journey, Roland relied on his natural charm not to be disgusted by others just because of a word or two, so he tried his best to talk to Enruosi and Claudia and pretend to be coercive. The two young people who were obviously beyond this age group were stunned for a while, and Claude didn't know what he was thinking, just smiled and looked at him and didn't talk to him. Claude can at least see that whether it is the constant emphasis on we or Roland's behavior of going to the mat trail first, it is all to enhance his credibility, so as to increase the gain in the hands of the two professional mercenaries. Opportunity for a command. It's just that he didn't understand why this druid, who claimed to be not a black robe, paid so much attention to commanding power this young man named Roland was very talkative, and he didn't seem to be a man of greed. Moreover. The command of this kind of temporary team has no benefit, and it has to bear a lot of responsibilities. In any case, Claude couldn't see what he was planning. Of course he couldn't see it. Because commanding NPCs to fight is the only way to get the experience share in the early stage without doing anything. New book for recommendation and collection. The group of four quickly approached the Matt Trail. Although the demarcation line between the Dark Forest and the Matt Trail is extremely blurred and difficult to distinguish, and the outside world is constantly blowing a black wind full of violent energy, which greatly suppresses the spiritual perception of the magic profession, but in Roland's guidance next, they still easily found that the site was strangely cut off behind a certain bush, and even if they stepped into the field of vision a little further, they did not advance in the slightest. Passing by here is a mat trail. Follow me closely, don't get lost Roland said in a deep voice while opening his personal panel. Seeing Mr. Roland's fingers moving nimbly in the air, and Ruosi even thought he was preparing some special magic. However, just as he thought, after a while, a light green light full of vitality rippled from him, swaying his slightly larger robe, 
attracting the attention of the three of them strangely. Strictly speaking, if you only look at her face, she can only be judged as a woman whether it is her delicate skin or her soft-looking facial features. Although he looks about twenty years old, there is still some childishness in his face. No, in this way, both men and women can be accepted, and no matter which side they are, they can be called beautiful. It can't be said to be the seductive appearance of the alluring country and the city, but the more ordinary kind of mediocre appearance that can't be bored no matter what kind of aesthetics. No matter who it is, just through the first impression of sight, it is impossible to hate the beautiful fairy like in front of you not true. And Ruosi suddenly realized what he was thinking, and the cold sweat behind him made his robe wet. This kind of charm is already close to the level of goodwill charm or friendship. He swore that when he saw the dark elf in the white tower as a specimen of malicious charm, he never had such a level of turmoil in his heart. If it wasn't for a wizard, and Ruosi had received training to strengthen his will in the White Tower, maybe his spirit would really be distorted. As a wizard, he was already so unbearable, and Ruosi could not imagine how much the spirit of ordinary people would be distorted by this terrifying natural charm. Now he wondered if the druid had or goblin blood. After all, only these two races can have charms that are equivalent to the level of charm and close to the level of curses without using any spells. At this moment, and Ruosi suddenly became wary of this seemingly harmless guy in front of him. At this time, Roland suddenly turned his head and glanced at him vaguely, which made him sweat even more. It's better to stay away from him. And Ruosi secretly made up such an idea in her heart. And Ruosi, three road level enchantment wizard, passed the will check and saved your natural charm once, and Ruosi will be more vigilant towards you, according to her will attribute the success rate of the next charm will decrease by 11%, what? Roland turned around and glanced at the wizard with the monocle, with a surprised look in his eyes. If I remember correctly, if you want to avoid the natural charm of fairies, you can't do it with a will attribute below 5 points. Desires need 10 points to summon the courage to fight heat and that's 10 times the will of a mortal, and in the bronze rank, 2130 it is basically only possible for the MT profession to do it. Although it can be calculated based on the subsequent drop in the success rate, the lucky wizard's will attribute is only 5.1, but he is exempted after all. In the profession of wizard, the will to achieve more than 3 points cannot be achieved before level 20. Because the profession of wizard does not add will when upgrading the first 10 levels. If you want to improve your will a lot, you either have to undergo a huge mental stimulation and then get rid of it, or you have to do targeted will training. If Roland remembers correctly, only the nobles of the White Tower have the right to apply for that kind of training. If it is a player, you must brush the reputation of the White Tower to respect. And this kind of training is to make up the will attribute to 5.0, but in fact, when the player brushes the prestige to respect, at least he has to obtain a formal job and train to level 10. It is a pity to eat useless and discard it. This sentence is used to describe this thing. However, this guy named Nruosi was actually a second generation, which surprised Roland. Immediately, he decided to pay a little attention for a while and find a way to save his life. The status of the White Tower Noble is more effective than the status of the daughter of Claudia's Viscount. A better relationship with Nruosi would at least allow Roland to sneak into the inner city of the White Tower. Once he entered the inner city of the White Tower, Roland was confident that he could buy a manor in Carol and bring a knighthood within half a month. Another thing that caught Roland's attention was the old priest Claude, who was not surprised that he was in the coffin in the next second. Roland noticed that the end of his cane had three rings of iron wrapped around it. Even if he didn't have the probing skills, he knew that there must be a prayer of blessing written on the inside of the iron sheet. That is the mark of an advanced professional apologist unique to priests in the combat or war realm. If you want to be employed as an apologist, you must first reach level 35 or above. If there are three rings, it means that Claude's level is at least 38. Don't look at the old man who seems to be broken without anyone's help. Once he wants to work hard, 
he will smash himself with seventeen or eight augmentation techniques, and the blessed blade at the end of the cane will flick out. Usually seven or eight bronze rank warriors can't get close enough to chop them up. But the most important thing at the moment is to find a way to get the ashes to change jobs. Roland thought wildly in his heart to step into the dividing line between the dark forest and the mat trail, and then the moment when everyone's vision was blocked, he quickly clicked a certain panel in his eyes a few times, whether to grant enhanced perception, enchanted to Black Vine's grudge hood, three times a week three remaining times, whether to grant enhanced perception, enchanted to Black Vine's grudge hood, three times a week, the remaining two times, whether to grant enhanced perception, enchanted to Black Vine's grudge hood, three times a week, the remaining one, whether to bless the charm monster, enchanted in the inner armor of Black Vine's resentment, once a day, whether to support friendship, set effect, once a week, yes 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 yes. It's up to you if you can pretend to force a successful wave of experience. Hurry up and disappear for me. Roland thought to himself, hurry up or use up all the special effects of the equipment that can be used now before the second person walks out from behind. After all, any magical technique will have some aura when it takes effect. If you perform a magical technique in front of people, even if no one asks, you will be suspicious of what you just did. Taking advantage of the fact that other people's sights were blocked by crossing the dividing line, three light blue, one dark green, and one light green aura flashed past Roland. Now his state is equivalent to the character just created, a whiteboard. Even the initial magic was not given because he didn't do the birth quest. If you don't want to fool the past, it is impossible for a few veteran mercenaries to give command to a fake druid who doesn't even know a magic trick. If it weren't for the fact that the pajamas he was wearing had really become a druid's T1 suit after crossing over, it would have been even more difficult for Roland to gain command and deceive the most difficult first experience. If he can't increase his level as quickly as possible to restore some life, with Roland's current data, in less than two hours, his life will be deducted to a point by Yeo Guang, and then he will be brought back to a near-death state. By then it's really too late. Covering his increasingly cramped abdomen because the effect of the inspiration began to fail, Roland's forehead began to drip with cold sweat. It's okay now, after three enhanced perceptions, Roland got three temporary perception attributes within an hour. If it is an ordinary human character, this bonus is equivalent to three times the basic attributes, even if it is Roland's half-goblin template, it is more than doubled. After all, this is the druid's T1 set and it is a rare drop from the 5 player version of the challenge level 10 the challenge level here is not considered the apprentice level because the apprentice level is generally considered to be equivalent to not taking office or it is because of lack of talent or lack of effort in short the nature of playing tickets therefore the apprentice occupation upgrade does not provide any attribute bonuses and is not subject to multitasking penalties in other words this four-piece professional suit of hood, necklace, inner armor, and outer coat was 20 levels higher than Roland. It should be said that Black Vine's resentment is not like a warrior's T1 level, but only needs the minimum attributes of Perception 2 will 2, or Roland will not have any attribute bonus even if he wears it. Now this suit gives Roland a level of will and Perception bonus. With the addition of three temporary boosts to strengthen Perception, Roland now has 6 points of perception and 3 points of will this attribute is also in the 20th level of human druids. Count on high. With this level of perception bonus, Roland felt that his mind was clear, and he was unprecedentedly rational. And both the field of vision and the range of perception are much farther. But he also knew that it was just an illusion. Perception attributes in the stubborn oak lock can't provide any ability to improve vision, even a god-level priest at level 80 who is on the side of the gods has to look at the road under his feet honestly here. Once, Roland thought that the most precious part of this set of Black Vine's grievances lay in the three superimposable enhanced perceptions. But after he trained the role of Druid all the way to the full level, he did not see the shadow of friendship, and then he understood the real preciousness of Black Vine's resentment. Friendliness can improve your chances of persuasion, 
and you can also use a silent method to reverse other people's impression of yourself. Especially when you use this magic when you see an NPC for the first time, you will always get a pretty good first impression. Although the goodwill charm can also have this effect if it is judged to be successful, but the biggest advantage of the friendly art is that even if it fails, it will not be detected, and the person whose impression is reversed will not realize what is wrong with his thinking, he will constantly finding reasons for yourself is a problem of limited thinking. Only when the level reaches level 50 or above will awaken the origin and change the way of thinking. This thing is simply an artifact of a liar. No matter how hard he tried, Roland wondered whether the mastermind had specially adjusted the drop rate for him in order to prevent him from using this liar. Fortunately, he can finally use the friendship spell now. Simply moved. And the reason why Roland blessed himself with a charm monster now is to deal with a glimpse of it for a while. When he was on Earth, he knew a little trick of the magic profession, that is, if the buff was manually removed within 1 60th of the duration after starting an augmentation magic, the effect of the long-term augmentation magic would explode in an instant. Go out. The effect is about the power of this continuous magic minus one ring. UU reading www.uugonshu.com Charm Monster is a foraying magic, which can only be learned normally by 21 Stilval Druids. Even when dealing with twisted monsters, the explosive charm monsters are enough to immobilize them for 5 or 6 seconds, and when dealing with ghostly creatures, who are low level and have no saves, and are also influenced by the heart of nature, good people can rely on their own power. Six points of perception combined with the bonus of the heart of nature check. If he didn't take the initiative to attack them, Roland was confident to keep them in place for half an hour. No one doubts the group monster immobilization technique that is said to be the sixth ring. And in this way, Roland is equivalent to participating in this battle. Even if the judgment of the battlefield commander is not successful, Roland who has played an assist role can also receive his share of experience. And the friendship technique is to hold the shadow for a while and immediately release two mental effects on the two mercenaries after they dismount. Once you get even a verbal command permission, as long as the commanding experience of 20 glimpses divided into Roland's apprenticeship experience, it can be directly filled. With his thoughts moving quickly, Roland looked at the hundreds of shadows in front of him, and his eyes showed satisfaction. But at this time, he heard the sound of teeth chattering from Enruosi behind him, and he couldn't help but have a playful smile on the corner of his mouth. The main attribute of a wizard is blood, and Enruosi, as a level 3 official wizard, has two bloodlines. Will has a terrible number as high as 5.1. But... Stupid, the gaze of fear to be exempted from glancing shadow is not based on will, but on perception. So, the stubborn oak fan lock here is simply a druid's paradise. New book for recommendation and collection. Roland knew that Enruosi would not be needed in this battle. But in order to fool the two mercenaries over there and give himself a boost, Roland said to Claudia, Miss Claudia, please give this Mr. Wizard an inspiration. Although he knew Enruosi's name on the system panel before, but now he has to pretend. Moreover, the prompt on the system panel can only see the name of the neutral NPC, not the surname this is to prevent players from being spoiled by the surname when they are playing some soap opera-like plots, but now it has brought some minor surnames to Roland. Not a small hassle. If he could know which family of Baida and Ruosi belongs to, he could even make a round of goodwill towards their family's hobbies. I had to ask again later. But... Encouragement is used to shield pain, and in Ruosi. Hearing Roland's words, Claudia hesitated a little. As a full level, level 110, priest, she doesn't have much divine grace to use in one day. Although stabilizing injury is the same magical technique as inspiration, stabilizing injury can prevent almost any injury from deteriorating within 24 hours, except that the fatal injury cannot be stabilized. In terms of effect, it is completely comparable to the THRE airing magic, so its consumption is also comparable to the THRE airing magic. If Roland's calculations are not wrong, 
Claudia still has about 2 to 5 points of divine grace left after using one stabilization injury, two inspirations, and one flash. This value can also prepare a flash or shock to save the field. Not to mention that there is an old priest of the silver rank pressing the field, Roland is not false at all. Everything is under control. Roland chuckled lightly and turned to Claudia, speaking just enough to be heard by the two mercenaries, please believe me, Miss Claudia. Inspiration is a pain-relieving effect that was developed in 891 of the God's Calendar. Before the end of the War of the Undead, it was mainly used for the low-level warriors of the friendly army to resist the opposing aura of fear. It was used to resist the plundering of shadow creatures. Courage works just as well. Didn't you learn it in the temple? Of course she won't learn. This is the same application skill developed by players as manually cancelling the burst effect of blessing magic. However, Roland didn't lie, the inspirational technique was indeed a pain-relieving effect developed in 891 of the God's Calendar. The real effect of inspiration is to increase morale, which increases the likelihood of saving throws from the fear and tremor effects. However, before that, the magic of inspiration was more enchanted on amulets. Including the fact that it is the same now, the enchanted amulet of inspiration has a new name the Mark of Heaven. Just changing the name, the price of the heavenly prayer mark is twice as expensive as the magic item of the same rank. Whoever dares to popularize this knowledge among low-level priests will wait for the group of businessmen who have been pitted to come to the door. Of course Claudia didn't know about these copper-smelling things. She was just worried that her charism wasn't enough. But looking back on it, whether it was Roland's eloquent conversation on the road before, or the confidence that gave people a good impression in his words, Claudia chose to believe him is. Is that so? Well, I believe you. She stretched out her fingertips, and as she prayed for Sivir's holy name, a golden halo gradually appeared in her blue and beautiful eyes like the surface of a lake. Then, a strong holy light burst out from her fingertips. At the same time that Anruosi's trembling state was removed, Roland, who was also receiving inspiration, also brushed a large number of system prompts. Your friendship check is successful, Claudia chooses to obey your command you are encouraged by Claudia, morale plus one you have received encouragement within two hours, the morale boosting effect is invalid Roland took the opportunity to take a step forward while the group of glimpses were in a panic due to the sudden light. Just when he was about to remove the charm monster, he suddenly saw the thin middle-aged mercenary turn his head slightly. When Roland saw the black lines on the middle-aged man's face with the light of encouragement, he squinted his eyes, and immediately changed the plan he had prepared in his heart. Because that is the silent swordsman. A special occupation only available in the Carol military. Players who want to take up a job need to obtain a position of Master Chief or above in order to receive a job transfer task. However, except for the special effects of attacking and moving silently, this profession is much worse than similar professions, resulting in almost no players choosing this profession. It was not until the public beta version of Plague Revival was officially opened that this profession revealed its hideous full picture. The Silent Swordsman is indeed very useless useless in every sense. No outbreak, no life-saving, no AoE, no battery life, except for a silent special effect that has no meaning at all, it is just like a thief who can fight with armor and can take medium weapons by the way. However, the advanced profession of this profession is terrifying. Counting from the fact that Claudia and her party were killed in the stubborn oak locks in the original plot, about a year and a half later, all the silent swordsmen of the Kuril army retired from the army and joined a unit without a number. This secret force has only gradually seen light in the late stage of the plague revival. Dumb blade troops. The silent swordsman's spell will gradually attach to his body over time. When the silent swordsman's curse completely spreads all over his body and penetrates into his other eye, his silent force field will mutate immediately, and the range will spread to five feet around the body and it will become a supernatural ability that requires no control and no consume. Once the number of dumb blades reaches a certain level, after they bring a certain number of high-evil assassins into the enemy camp silently at night, 
even if the battle is broken, there will never be one under the saturated silence of dumb blade. Soldiers wake up. They didn't even have to kill the enemy vigil. As long as he ran fast enough, if he stood within three feet of him before the night watchman shouted, even if he stayed where he was, there would not be any movement from him. The silent swordsman has always been a secret profession of the Kuril military from its inception to its complete fame, and there is absolutely no possibility of being discharged alive. Now I see a silent swordsman's mercenary in Banza. Roland squinted slightly. There is a feeling of being involved in some kind of trouble. He was starting to get a little excited. It was rare for a silent swordsman to appear alone. It was not Roland's style not to insert a nail into the dumb blade. Thinking like this, Roland cleared his throat and said softly in the most innocuous voice, the gentleman with the sword in front. Look at the curse mark on your face, you are a silent swordsman, right? The silent swordsman in front of him was clearly shaken. Secretly laughing in his heart, Roland waited about three or four seconds before continuing to speak. This is an interval that can make the silent swordsman realize that he is a druid, and he will not be noticed by others. Then, please close the curse seal first to save energy. Listen to me, I have a plan to annihilate all the shadows deliberately amplifying his voice to attract the group of glimpses who had just woken up from the chaos caused by the flash, Roland took a step forward slowly. Reach out and click on Charming Monster. The next moment, a green halo condensed from Roland's waist, hit the ground as a dazzling halo, and quickly swept along the ground. All of a sudden, all the swipes seemed to be fixed, froze in place and motionless. But Roland knew that it seemed to be exactly the same as the group monsters, but once the group of ghosts were attacked, they would wake up. In order to prevent the two mercenaries who seemed to have the reckless temperament from breaking the control by themselves, Roland put down his hood. Then, click on the friendship art. At this moment, the silent swordsman and the chubby shield dancer just turned around and accepted Roland's friendly charm. They were not of will-type professions without any suspense and succeeded in being charmed by the terrible value of six-point perception. The blood-red eyes that had just been soaked with killing intent instantly softened, as if they were looking at their nephew. Before they could think about it, Roland took another step forward and stood in the middle of the group. Without even looking back, Roland knew that everyone must be looking at him at the moment. So he said immediately, the immobilization time is not long, I will make a long story short. My name is Roland, not the black robe, but a dud. Also, I know the habits of the shadows here very well. The shadow creatures in the stubborn oak locks become stronger as they go deeper. So far, the shadow creatures have not been strengthened by their physique, only their agility, intelligence and some special abilities have changed. On the mat trail, the visibility is suppressed to less than 10 steps, and the range of clear visibility is only one step around the body. The glimpses here are completely accustomed to the brightness here. Once it is slightly brighter, there is only a blank in their field of vision. The scariest thing about the shadows here on the mat trail is that we can't move when they're standing on our shadows. This makes it impossible to even escape once we're surrounded by shadows. When the angle changes, you can easily take back your shadow from the swipe. If you want to kill the ghosts, you must first restrict their movement in some way such as my group monster immobilization technique. After that, as long as we raise the fire and approach the shadow quietly with the torches, we can easily cut off their heads from the monkey's body. Yu Yu reading www.yuyugonshu.com according to my strategy. I mean tactics, even a group of farmers surrounded by torches can easily kill more than three times the number of glimpses. Roland said decisively. After being silent for a while, Anruosi said in a shaky voice, but, we tried it in the dark forest before, and we couldn't light the fire at all. That's of course. Roland's expression of slap in the face was a matter of course, but the explosive effect of the friendly art wasn't over yet, when the five and Ruosi looked at him, they couldn't even show a trace of anger. Because there is a dark jungle, how can you be allowed to set fire in the jungle in the mystery lock set by the druids? 
When Roland looked at their faces, he suddenly realized that the corners of his mouth were slightly raised. Now it's a mat trail, and what's forbidden has become a change of terrain. The fire can be raised once there is a fire here, these sketches will become blind, and there will be no new sketches to attack us again. Having said that, Roland smiled and added in his heart, but if you use divine magic to set fire, the cultists in the south wind ring will come smelling the smell. New book for recommendation and collection. Thank you Zhen Fallen Knight for the 10,000 starting point coin reward and 3 5 star evaluation tickets, the 1,000 starting point coin reward for the top of the wind and 3 5 star evaluation tickets for the final nightmare. Thanks for the support. Father Claude breathed a sigh of relief when Roland had been brewing a vibrant light green radiance. To be honest, Claude basically didn't believe a word about the fact that the druid youth had always emphasized that he was not a black robe. He is such a person, old-fashioned, stubborn, and hateful of evil. When an untrue thing happens in front of him, Claude will definitely solve it according to the way he did this kind of thing in the past. Because of this, when news came last month that Bida had invented a communication device that can communicate remotely at low cost, Claude immediately regarded it as Bida's performance in rectifying armaments. How can anyone believe such a lie that such a convenient device is not used in the army but is popularized to the public? Claude scoffed at this. Bida's research department is notoriously short of money. How much money can those merchants and pariahs pay for this kind of thing? Anyway, with their social circle, it is impossible to have any distant relatives and friends. And as for the nobility, which nobleman doesn't have a personal messenger wizard? Messages delivered by messenger wizards are no slower than the so-called communication devices. Before going out, Claude was still jumping and betting with others in the temple that Bida invented this thing must be used by the military in the end. It's the same this time. Since Claude rescued the black robe from Kluwien, he has been blowing his nose and staring at him. After Claudia insisted on treating him, although Claude did not agree with the student who he had always regarded as his granddaughter. He didn't say anything, but he silently left the carriage. Even if he went to rest in the carriage that transported goods, he didn't want to share a carriage with a black robe who would take his life. So when the young man claimed that he was not a black robe, Claude scoffed. However, when the halo of genuine natural magic rippling through Roland's body, Claude's bad impression of him slowly faded away. After all, the black cropped druid cannot use natural magic even if he doesn't know about druids, Claude still knows this. After listening to him talk about so many habits about glimpse, Claude also confirmed it by comparing the books he had read in the temple over the years. In short, what Claude knew, Roland seemed to know, what Claude didn't know, Roland seemed to know. Immediately, Claude, who likes to read despite his temper, has a little more affection for this learned young man. Therefore, when he pointed out the fatal flaws of glancing shadow, Father Claude didn't say much, although he had some doubts in his heart, he just waved his hand with a smile and summoned the holy fire, which was attached to Mackin's sword and Clovine's shield. Unlike Claudia, he has served Siverer, the goddess of war for more than sixty years. It can be said that he is a goddess of great grace. He threw out two thre airing magic spells without even blinking his eyes. Under Roland's signal, Clovine turned around and took off a torch from the carriage, and led the holy flames on the shield to the torches one by one. Immediately, the dark mat trail was brightened. Afterwards, Claude watched as Markin held a torch and tried to approach the immobilized silhouettes, and easily cut off their heads one by one with a sword. The old priest still had some doubts that could not be dispelled. Do you really need the blinding of fire for a glimpse that has been fixed by the group monster's immobilization technique? Although I don't like the mercenary chief who is sometimes silent and sometimes chatty, but with his skills, he can chop off the heads of these monkeys in a few minutes. Probably to keep other glimpses from coming here. Claude was stubborn as always, with a bit of guilt for blaming him before, and he didn't want to doubt the young druid he had a crush on at the moment. The battle is over Mark and killed a total of 132 phantom lives under your command, and extracted the power of the source. 
due to his low level, the amount of experience gained is greatly reduced. You get the lowest command share experience 264 points it is simply a great harvest. Seeing the faint green light curtain in front of him, Roland clicked the option to upgrade the level without hesitation. Allocate 135 experience points to Druid Apprentices. Then advance. Roland meditated in his heart, and the instructions repeated countless times in the game made him extremely excited at this moment. If there is no accident, the power to change the future is born from his hands at this moment. Druid Apprentice Level 1, Promotion Requires 3 Experience Points Confirm Druid Apprentice Level 2, Promotion Requires 6 Experience Points Confirm Druid Apprentice Level 9, Promotion Requires 27 Experience Points Confirm Apprenticeship level is saturated you learn the magic entanglement technique from the surname of Bai K. Please select your career change a warm current flowed through Roland's body, and he clearly felt that the injury in his abdomen was much better, and even his mental state had recovered a lot. Done. Roland was extremely excited at the moment. It really worked. If it can be upgraded through experience, many of the methods to upgrade the level in Roland's memory can be used. Moreover, although the career promotion of the apprentice rank will not improve the basic attributes, it will restore a small amount of life. But these nine points of life were very few and far between, which pushed Roland's life to eleven points, more than half of the total life value. Once he reached this level, Roland's moderate injury was automatically relieved to a minor injury, the moderate anemia became a mild anemia, and the visceral injury was healed. Immediately, Roland's negative state was left with only a glare that could not be dispelled. Not good. The damage of only one layer of flare itself is not serious, and it only loses a point of health every two hours. Roland has sufficient confidence to obtain the profession of ashes before he is worn to death. And at the moment of completing the advanced stage, Aum's law will instantly reorganize Roland's whole body, not to mention the damage of the light, even the deadly poison will disappear. Feeling that his physical condition was better than ever before, and the visceral colic that could not be dissipated since he passed through has finally disappeared, Roland showed a satisfied smile. As for the last job transfer, Roland chose the ashes without hesitation. This choice is not something you can get immediately after you choose it, but after the attributes and characteristics are matched with the occupational requirements, the system will provide you with a series of job transfer tasks. In other words, if you want to get a job transfer in a certain occupation, you must first know the scientific name of the occupation. The more senior the professional, the less relevant knowledge is spread among the people. Human beings are the people of black iron, which means that as long as they work hard, there is no obstacle for humans to reach the black iron rank. Generally, the cannon fodder in the army is of the black iron rank. To be able to become a bronze rank in youth means that this person has a very strong talent, and there is a great hope to advance to silver when he reaches his prime. Humans at the silver level began to show that they were different from ordinary people, not in abilities, but in the level of life they began to alienate. Humans who can become silver rank are about the same rarity as doctors on earth. In many small places, people never even see a silver rank powerhouse in their entire life. In fact, there are many high-level professionals of the bronze rank and even the silver rank who can't tell the number of basic professions of wizards, but they are collectively called wizards, not to mention others. Knowing the scientific name of a certain occupation during the probationary stage is the simplest and most basic test given by the system. If you can't even do this, then the rest will not be discussed at all. As for the request of the ashes, Roland could almost recite it you want to get the basic occupation of ashes, is checking perception is greater than 2.0, bloodline is greater than 1.5, willpower is less than 5.0, has the bloodline of the people of black iron, and has not taken up any priest-like occupation, completely matches, past the check you got the job assignment inauguration mission, one make any ashes of bronze rank or above become friendly towards you exactly the same. As in the game. Roland wasn't worried about how to find a bronze rank or above the ashes. As far as he knows, 
the South Wind Ring cultist who is doing the demonization experiment in the Dark Scar at the moment is from the Ashes family, which is the one that split from the South Wind Ring later. The person who presided over the experiment was an Ashes who was at the peak of the Silver Rank. He stepped on the edge of the 41 Stilvel Golden Rank and was about to become an Ashes Lord. No matter from any direction, it met the requirements of the system. It's just that he was a little worried. Roland understands how to gain goodwill. It's just that in the real world now, Roland doesn't know whether he is simply being friendly in the system's judging criteria, or whether he really wants to make the Ashes feel good about Roland. If it is the former, Roland is sure to complete it in minutes. But if it's the latter, that would be a lot more difficult. Even if he became friends with other professions in a short period of time, it was no problem for Roland at all. The problem is that these ashes did not come here in an open and above-board manner, and each of them has the task of silence. It is too difficult to cultivate a relationship with a stranger under such circumstances. Thinking like this, Roland frowned on purpose, showing a worried expression. Little Roland, what's wrong? Claude, who had been paying attention to Roland, immediately asked. The number is wrong. Roland said in a deep voice. Although the correct road is narrow, the actual area of the mat trail is very large. The glimpses in the mat trail are not five or six hundred, but also in the early four hundred. But we and the like are both inspiration and holy fire, and keep shining. There are no new glimpses here to check the situation, it's like. Having said that, Roland stopped talking. However, Clovine continued the topic with a serious expression on his face, it's like being scared away by a more ferocious predator, right? He is a mountain resident of Pharaoh and grew up in the mountains. Therefore, when Clovine heard this, he subconsciously expressed his opinion. That's what I want. Roland smiled slightly. I heard that there is a shadow pterosaur inhabiting the Scar of the Light. It was originally a pure-blooded black young dragon, but it became a Yelong after being polluted by Del Ramos's breath and making its bloodline impure. Although the bloodline is polluted and unable to awaken its origin, its power and size have not degraded in the slightest, and it has added the characteristics of scheming creatures out of thin air. Roland finished the point and said no more. But there was silence all around. That is the pure-blooded dragon, the golden people of origin who will surely awaken in a hundred years. Even if it is a young dragon that is less than a hundred years old, at least one team of silver-level powerhouses can try to kill it. Roland knew deeply that many people would not completely believe even the conclusions of experts. But if you show these people the same information, they will be convinced of the conclusions of their reasoning. The funny thing is that most of the time, there is no difference between these two conclusions. On the contrary, the conclusion that you have calculated is more likely to be wrong, but people are always very confident in their reasoning ability. This is the same no matter the world. How big is that shadow pterodactyl? Markin, who had been silent for a while, suddenly asked. The size is not very clear, but it is about 40 years old now, and it is still very young. Roland responded with a serious look. Of course he knew how big that pterosaur was. 18 feet in length, with more than 30 feet of wings open, it is two circles larger than a black dragon of the same age. Its breath is the shadow silk of mixed acid, which can easily corrode the armor of the fine grade to the light blue fine grade low grade, but it is powerless to the armor above the dark blue. Also, adamantan armor can completely ignore its breath. In the game, 12 well-equipped standard mercenary squads of level 40 silver peaks can kill them without damage. UU reading www.uuganshu. After Kam graduated from the level 40 underground treasury dungeon, the main tank of the team usually has one or two pieces of armor doped with adamantin. Not to mention others, Roland himself would have killed it more than 40 times. Even Roland could memorize the drop list smoothly and the drop probability could be accurate to two decimal places. But now Roland can't say too much, otherwise, let alone the old fox, I'm afraid Claudia and Anruosi will be suspicious. However, 
even if the two fake mercenaries who clearly had the military's iron-blooded aura didn't know it, Claude, as a priest of the silver rank, must have some knowledge of dragons. Let him say it is far more reliable than what Roland himself said. The body is about 15 feet long. Once it takes off, the shadow is enough to cover us all. If it has the characteristics of a ghost creature, I'm afraid we will face a round of raids if it is discovered. To Roland's surprise, before Claude could speak, Anruosi blurted out the correct answer like a textbook. Roland looked at him in surprise. What is the origin of this little guy? New book for recommendation and collection. This book was released on Thursday last week. Maybe the support from the old pit people was strong enough. I didn't expect that by Sunday, we would have reached the 12th place in the game category newcomer and new book list, and it was almost on the list. Now. This week, everyone started working hard from Monday. If we are on the list, we will add more. Share with you. We stayed up late to code words. It has to be avoided. Following in Ruosi's words, Claude said without hesitation. That's a matter of course. It's just a young dragon. If you use a spear with a rope and a dragon hunting crossbow to tear it down from the sky, even three or four bronze rank professionals can try to be a dragon slayer. But a large part of the reason why dragon life is difficult to deal with is that their huge size combined with the ability to fly is a big killer in itself. Before the origin of Awakening, the dragon's air raid was close to no solution among creatures of the same order, and it could only dodge but not resist. Even if it was the scheming pterosaur not far from them at this time, if Roland and his party were really set in place by the scheming feature to force a round of aerial raids, it is very likely that there will be no next round. What should we do? Shall we go back? Roland asked deliberately. You can't go back. If the shadow pterodactyl comes out for food, and after eating the shadows of the mat trail, it is most likely to go to the dark forest to continue to pray. If we turn back and run into the dark jungle now, most likely hit it hidden. Clovine said in a deep voice. Then are we going to enter the lightless scar? Claudia frowned and asked, what if we encounter a more dangerous monster inside? But we have no choice. Mackin emphasized the current situation. As soon as he was reminded, the atmosphere of the team was condensed for a while. If you are worried about encountering monsters in the trace of no light, then don't worry, Roland said at this moment, in trace of no light, all monsters are blind, and the perception range is extremely low. Dot Although a person's vision will be suppressed to within three feet, that distance is twice as large as the monster's perception range. As long as we wrap the leather boots with cloth, it won't make too much noise. We walk a little slower and walk along the edge of the dull scar, so that we can retreat immediately if we encounter a monster. Hearing this, Anruosi asked Roland, but what if there are other people in the Wugwang scar? What if we happened to run into a grazing pterosaur when we were retreating from the Wugwang scar? There can't be anyone in the dark scar. Before Roland could answer, Markin strongly vetoed. Why can't there be someone? On the contrary, Anruosi was taken aback by Mackin's attitude and asked very confused. Mackin ignored him, just lowered his head and looked like he was thinking about something. Anruosi was destined to never get an answer. Roland's mouth curled slightly. Why can't there be someone in the dark scar? Because other than the player druids, the silent swordsmen are the people who are most familiar with this road. As the only area between Kalers and Bantha with no borders and no sentries, the stubborn oak lock is not as defenseless as it seems. Banza has established a country for a long time, has a strong military force, and the state religion is the goddess of war. These three things alone make Kuril have to guard against them. What's more, the current ruler of Banza, Queen Ivana, although young, has already shown a strong war talent and a mad dog-like momentum. Roland remembered that two months later, His Majesty went to war with three countries at the same time, making his name as a mad dog spread all over the world. After the White Pagoda collapsed, Bansa was the first force to dare to find a leak in the land where the gods ravaged. 
Many data emperors on the forum have analyzed it. It was the harvest of that robbery that greatly enriched Banza's heritage, and gave Banza the confidence to upgrade to an empire after the revival of the plague. To use a few words to describe this person, she is a fanatical war fighter who has a long-term vision and dares to fight. Some people even suspect that she is most likely fighting for the sake of war and simply enjoying war but that person is only it's just skepticism, not supported by evidence. Although Ivana has not done anything earth-shattering today, the smell of a madman can be tasted no matter how far away she is. Just to guard against her, Carol must also fortify the borders adjacent to Banza, including the dangerous place of Stubborn Oak Millock. If you look down from the sky, the entire Stubborn Oak Lock is like a slightly twisted apple, and the area without light marks is like a fruit core, which directly connects Carol and Banza. In order to prevent Ivana from trying to infiltrate Kaler from the Dark Scar, Kaler had already dispatched secret troops to the Dark Scar to station. That unit was the Silent Swordsman, the predecessor of the Dumb Blade unit. You must know, the more dangerous the area is in the Stubborn Oak Lock, the weakest monster level in the Dark Scar is also above level 30. Multiple monsters can easily destroy a motley army. However, the strength of the monsters in the stubborn oak lock is inversely proportional to the sight. The scheming creatures have no sense of smell, and can only judge the movement of the prey through sight and hearing. Just as Roland said, the shadows in the dark scar have completely lost their sight, and the silent swordsman with the ability to move silently is like invisible in the dark scar. Therefore, there are a large number of high-evil silent swordsmen who have been sneaking and silent in the dark scar patrolling like ghosts, and will not let anyone enter here without permission. After the mission to cut off the ring in the game, those druids who are unfamiliar with the terrain but rely on their professional advantages to singledry once they go too deep and stray into the dark mark, they will easily be behind the patrolling silent swordsman. A sneak attack is a direct solution. Therefore, theoretically, there cannot be any enemy other than the silent swordsman inside the Scar of Light. Just now, Mackin just said it out of his mouth. At this moment, facing in Ruosi's question, he was completely unable to answer it. How to say? Let's just say that I'm actually a spy from a neighboring country. I came to you to spy on intelligence. Now I'm ready to return to my country to hand in a mission. I'm very familiar with this secret passage. Just follow me. By the way, there are all my colleagues here so don't be afraid. Just follow me. So Claude could kill him on the spot. Various thoughts flashed through Markin's mind, and then he immediately turned his attention to Roland. Druid, a special druid profession, has the same status in Kuril as the profession of royal scholars in other countries. He is not at all surprised that Roland knows so much knowledge. Mackin had vaguely heard that Druid's power was determined by the amount of knowledge he had mastered. Seeing that Roland was able to perform the group monster immobilization technique before, he might have recognized his identity and mission with his knowledge. I hope he can know the way to the trace of no light. Otherwise, Mackin really won't be able to come back. Thinking like this, Markin cast his longing eyes on Roland. Not to his surprise, the druid scholar with a girl-like face smiled and nodded. Mackin could not help but let out a sigh of relief. He raised his head and asked calmly, Roland, do you know how to enter the lightless scar? Of course. Roland agreed while looking around, then walked in a certain direction without hesitation. Actually, what Nruosi said just now is not true, Roland said casually, pterosaurs are not aggressive when they are not hungry Del Ramo's breath polluted its bloodline and destroyed him at the same time. The Intellect now that young dragon has only the wisdom of a sub-dragon, full of animal nature, and all actions are predictable. Roland didn't see it, and a strange light flashed in Clovine's eyes just now. Our field of vision is no more than three feet in the scar of light. In order to prevent someone from being lost, we must maintain a good formation from now on. As if he hadn't noticed anything, Roland continued. The formation should be as dense as possible without compromising flexibility, moving in a dense array of shuttles, with at least two people in each person's field of vision. 
As soon as the loss of vision is found, it immediately makes a sound to attract our attention. Also, focus focus and try to keep yourself not too forward or too backward as much as possible. I am familiar with the terrain, and I have a strong perception. I stand in the front row. Behind me are Mackin and Clovine, then Anjas and Miss Claudia, Roland said, turning around and saying seriously, Lord Claude is the strongest, so I will trouble you to guard the rear. Give me this old bone. The old priest said with a smile. But, Claudia suddenly asked, what about the carriage in the dark forest? And what about the guards stationed near the carriage? Before Roland could answer, Mackin let out a sneer. Miss, don't think about the carriage. In front of those greedy monkeys, there will be no horses left. The one who answered her was Clovine, who had not spoken for a long time. What's more, there is a shadow pterosaur. Macon added. Yes, there are also pterodactyls. So miss, I personally suggest that we don't go back, just take the trail from the dark mark and enter Carol. It is rare to have a druid to lead the way. Clovine patted stomach, said with a smile. Miss Claudia, if you have to go back, I suggest you go back after the shadow pterodactyl has returned from foraging. Before that, for your safety, I don't think Captain Mackin will let you go back. Roland looked at Claudia quietly, with unclear meaning. But those guards? She still wanted to argue something, but Father Claude put his hand on her shoulder lightly and shook his head slightly at her. Okay, I get it. Claudia bit her lip and said in a low voice, however, I hope it's better to go back and have a look if possible in the future. As you wish. However, I still prefer to pass through the dark marks quickly. After all, isn't your brother imprisoned? Clovine shrugged indifferently. After only a short while, Roland led the group to an inconspicuous black line. He turned his head and said with a serious expression, in the scar of the light, the laws are different from the mat trail. Any means of lighting in the scar of the light will be ineffective, even if it is the White Tower Wizard's gem lamp. Nothing that doesn't touch you will do. Also, don't touch any trees in the dark scar. Because Onet heard of the books here are phantoms, and there's nothing hidden in them, just in case there's a shadow hibernating inside. That's bad. After making sure everyone heard it clearly, you you read www.uugonshu.com Roland stepped into the dividing line of no trace of light. Immediately, the shimmering light before dawn completely disappeared, and even with the extraordinary vision of professionals, everyone could only see the hazy figures around them. At this moment, the figure in the front suddenly settled down, then turned around and said softly, We seem to have forgotten to prepare the cloth before. Lord Claude, please use your magic to silence our footsteps. So Claude nodded defensively. New book for recommendation and collection. This week, we want to grab the new book list. Well, this week we were instantly squeezed into the new book list and then pushed down again. Well, let's make it clear that if it is still hanging on it tonight, a chapter will be added the next day, if it can still be hung on the next night, then a chapter will be added on the third day, and so on. This week only, please vote hard. Also, someone in the book review area asked about the orientation of this book. I'm so helpless, doesn't Roland look the same? Shi Xian came from the fandom area, not from the female band, please rest assured here. However, the love line has not yet been determined. Maybe harem, ambiguous, single or single heroine. Of course, Ten Xian personally prefers a single heroine. The first volume is mainly about the protagonist's personal success, Shuang, Long, Bai and now Roland is in a hurry, and it is impossible to put his mind on this side. The voting for the emotional line will be released at the end of the first volume, so please pay attention.